Every year, Nordic Center at Fudan University here in Shanghai organizes an intensive two-week course for students studying at our Nordic member universities called Chinese Politics and Society. If you're uh, interested in learning more about topics like the Chinese party state, China's international relations, both in the global scale and in its own region, and different social currents shaping Chinese uh, society, this might be the course for you. Uh, and you can hear a little bit more about this course from our students from last summer here in this video, or read more at nordiccenter.net. I've learned so much in two weeks, and it's kind of strange. I didn't thought I learned that much. I got two lectures in economics. Mm -hmm. and we had international relations, mm -hmm. social sciences, politics. We have That's good. Yeah, kind of every, everything. So I would say just try it out. Even if you're not that interested in China, after this course you will be, and you will realize things that you didn't even know you could like about China and in general. I would say this is a like great experience. I feel now I'm much more able to understand the Chinese perspective both domestically but also how they act regarding like international race relations and stuff. So yeah. I think definitely that will be useful in the future when I read news about China and I understand why do they do this. Uh, I think there was a nice variety between the different lectures and all that kind of stuff and uh, we covered like the economics and history and all that and there was a nice because you get the background and then you get the contemporary perspective on it um, I think seeing how the students uh, are experiencing China most for the first time and uh, letting them uh, know about how China works and just seeing their excitement and sometimes their bewilderment about uh, all things Chinese. I actually really like the, the Peace Hotel. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, like, because uh, it has this, uh, it's very authentic and it has this old style and I think you really get a feeling of how it was here in like the 20s, 30s, which we also had a lecture about. Uh, and also they had this like nice view. So you could like be in this hotel where there was yeah this old really old style, and there you just went on top and you saw the whole you know the whole new Shanghai. I also saw some funny stuff. I remember like walking in the woods and suddenly you find a guy like standing around slamming a tree. Uh, I was amazed at how modern China is. Really, at least Shanghai. I haven't been to other parts of China, but. This is like really amazing how modern it is, even compared to Nordic standards. Some things here are like, wow, yeah. And what I really liked about the program was the overall framework of it. So we did not only have lectures, but also went to field trips. We visited, for instance, the Swedish consulate, which was actually one of my favorite parts, because you do not get to see the consulate as a normal tourist, yeah. I'd say. So it was very interesting to talk to a diplomat and just see how it works in the everyday life. I would say the excursion to Suzhou. Mm -hmm. Most definitely, yes. It was a really nice addition to the course, yes. Uh, so definitely my favorite part about Shanghai is actually the parks. I really like the parks. <laughs> <laughs> parks? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Because I was expecting a, like, a kind of a tedious academic course, but then we have all kinds of fun activities and all that, and I think it's really well balanced out. I feel like the academical um, gain has been very good, and I also really liked all the guest lecturers. So it's been a very good variety, and everyone has done a really good job. Yeah, so definitely I would say the diversity is very good. It's like a good package of everything, uh -huh. both like, so. Uh, there's so many different backgrounds here, yeah. the students, and I think everyone would like to kind of got their wish, wishes fulfilled or whatever. Especially for the lectures where um, the political system was explained and the history of the, yeah, the political developments and so on were explained, I liked that. Especially I liked how open like everyone was and there were, like no subject was basically shunned and yeah, because there are some difficult issues to talk about, but here it was really open. They've had uh, such uh, insightful questions. They have been very 
um, active and they have um, done research on their own and they are sharing their knowledge and this is what uh, I was really hoping that would happen that we could have a place where they could share what they already know with the other students so I think it's been really productive in that way.